All right, we're starting in 30 seconds, everybody. Is everybody ready? 30, get ready. Tom, can you reset graphics? Yes. All right, roll for record. Thank you, Tom. We're recording. <clears throat> Wait, where's Katie? Is the stream is the stream good? Yeah, I, I have her, I have her camera on. Who? Where's, where's Katie? Katie? <laughs> Ten, oh nine, Katie's eight, seven, it's six, eight. five, <laughs> four, There's three, two, one. Roll red. Roll red. Take red. Coming up, Katie, can you the investigation me? of a vandalized menorah belonging to a Ready, you till? fraternity is wrapping up. Plus, a tribute to the life and legacy of former President George H.W. Bush. Also, find out what police are doing. All right. Cue her. Cue, go. Open go, her mic. Go, Katie. Yeah. Take, take it. And I'm live at the Faith Center. Ready, yeah. yeah. both mics. Ready, camera two. Okay. Center County Report starts now. Take 360. Close Closer mic. Closer mic. Open both mics. Great job, Katie. Stand by. And cue them. Good afternoon. I'm Ready, Grace camera three. Camera. Ready, Brandon's mic. Brandon Felter. Thanks for joining us. Take it. There are new developments today. Ready, in blue. Case of a menorah vandalized at a Penn State fraternity house. Roll blue. Take blue. The menorah graphic. was damaged, then stolen from the Zeta Beta townhouse in State College. Blue's graphic week. advance. The fraternity Ready, red. tells us that suspects have been identified in the incident, and police confirm they have suspects, but there's no word yet on any charges being filed. Police don't believe these are ethnic intimidation cases. Roll red. Take I'm red. Graphic. Learning experience for whoever did this. Learn about what this really means to Jewish community. Lose graphic. Advance. Um, Ready camera three. Ready Brandon's mic. Open his mic. Take three. Penn State President Eric Barron spoke out on the incident. Ready camera <laughs> one. Ready, bra ready Grace's mic. Guided and hateful acts of a few stand unchallenged. If you see something, say something. He's also asking people to extend extra kindness to members of the fraternity and the Jewish community. Open our mic, take one. Flags across Pennsylvania and the nation Ready, blue. continue flying at half staff today in honor of President George H.W. Bush. He was buried last night in Texas. It capped two days of memorial events for the 41st president. Reporter Tom Shively has more on the funeral. Roll blue, take blue. The best father of seven Who's their mics? get a half. A nation mourns as one of its former chief executives has passed away. You guys did a great job. George H.W. Bush died late last Friday night in Houston. His official state funeral was held in Washington on Wednesday. About how far out are we from Cajun? And in our grief, by just smile knowing that they are just going to be and holding them on his hand again. All five living presidents were in attendance. He world leaders from Bush's presidency were also on hand to speak on his behalf. And another package and then it's you, so just stand by. No occupant of the Oval Office was more courageous, <laughs> Lose more graphics, advance. and more honorable. George W. Bush also shared a heartfelt message from his final moments on the phone with his father. I said, Dad, I love you, you've been a wonderful father. And the last words he would ever say on earth were, I love you too. Bush's remains were transported back to his native Texas. Ready, Grace's mic. Ready, camera one. He was buried in his presidential library in College Station. A smaller memorial service was held as well in addition to the burial. He was 94 years old. I'm Tom Scheiber for the Senate County Report. Open her mic, take one. Flag waving crowds lined the tracks three. yesterday Ready, as mic. a special funeral train traveled through Texas to Bush's final resting place in Colorado. Open his mic, take three. Pennsylvania plans a Ready, statewide red. giveaway of an anti-overdose drug next week. Roll red, take Our red. state had 5,400 overdose deaths in 2017, the most of any state. So it's expanding its efforts to make the anti-overdose medication naloxone available. Next Thursday, any Try resident can pick up the drug at 80 locations around the state from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. In our area, Ready, that's at one. Ready, Center Life Mike. PMS on Park Center Boulevard and State College. The governor's office says more than 20,000 people have been revived with Open naloxone over the past four years in Pennsylvania. Take one. 
Another health-related crisis is also affecting you central Pennsylvania. The Red Cross says there's chill. a serious blood shortage. Reporter yeah. Aaron Johnson has more on Roll blue. Story. Take With blue. the holiday season here, it's now in time. your neck. <coughs> but there's one present that many Pennsylvania residents That's need that you won't find under the tree. It's blood. For those who suffer from the inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, like Penn State doctoral student Lars Schultz's Brown, blood can be critical. There can often graphic. be this internal leakage of blood since we'll have really small ribs or Advanced. tears in our intestines. And they're not visible from the outside, but internally they're just maybe a small wound that's bleeding constantly. Blood transfusions can help people suffering from internal bleeding. Something Stoltzfus Brown doesn't require right now, but the need is still there across the region. The greater Allegheny area, which includes State College, is in a serious blood shortage. Since there is a shortage, and folks with Crohn's typically aren't considered as high risk or high need, so we're kind of near the end of the waiting list. You can't make blood graphic. in a factory somewhere, it has to come from people. So if people can give blood, you know, Advanced. what does that mean for those patients? Ready, camera one, ready, raise this mic. So it's mic. important for people to really step up and, and donate. The Red Cross says the only solution is to have more people donate blood. In State College, I'm Aaron Open Johnson. Open, Mike. Center County Report. Take one. Blood drives are in your area this holiday Ready, camera season. three, ready, Brandon time. Stand out one online from the Red Cross. In State College, the blood donation center is located on Key Street. Open, this mic, take three from blood donations Ready, double box. to food donations. Some area families are hurting financially Ready, during this holiday season and can use your help. Local food banks are trying to Open fill Katie's the void and provide for those in need. Take Before double. Katie's <laughs> tracking gas is you. live in Belfast <laughs> with more on the story. Katie? Take you too. Open her mic. Thanks, Brandon. The price of the okay. holiday season is Go. just too high Ready, to red. families. But Santa County Programs like Food Center are prepared to help those in need. Roll red. Take red. Nice. Awesome Great job, job everybody. Take your mic off. Package is playing now, so just stand by for your tag. Thanks for advancing, Tom. But according to a recent Gallup poll, American adults plan to spend almost $900 on the holidays this year. That sounds high to me. Nicole Summers is the executive director of the Feed Center in Belfast. Yeah, we squeeze a super. We have two <laughs> We yeah. give away clothing every Tuesday Next and Friday. One. We have a teaching kitchen. Of course, we're here at graphic. the food bank. Yep. We're serving hundreds of people a month. And Loose graphic, we advanced. have the pet food pantry for the county. In addition to their year-round services, Summer says the Faith Center also provides special events for the holidays. We have our special Christmas food distribution, um, and that is tailored to a traditional Christmas or Thanksgiving meal. We are also the host. This one ends early, so get cups. ready. Yeah, I and that will ready be you till two. Ready, Katie's mic. first of this month. The center isn't the only place that offers cure where I buy gifts. In fact, it's one of seven. Children. You'll have to cure a little bit before that because that that whole next page is not right. Up. The holiday season can be extraordinarily stressful. Open her mic. It's cue. really hard to see things on TV where everybody's getting everything. And your Thank you, Center is prepared to help over 900 individuals this holiday season. As you can see right now, I'm live inside of the big Ready, camera store. one. Ready, Grace's mic. And they're usually open six days a week. Now, in addition to their regular hours, they also right. have a Christmas tree <coughs> giveaway coming up this upcoming Monday. Please are first come, first serve. And you can find more information on their website, Faith Center. Info. Oh, I'm Katie Trucking Gas for the Center County Report. Open now mic. Back to you in the studio. Take one. The Penn State University Board of Good Trustees. Good job, Katie. Ready, blue. An architect for a thirty-five million dollar renovation project at the University Park Airport. Roll blue. According Take to blue. the board, the taxiway graphic, at the yeah. airport currently sees right the Federal right Aviation Administration over twenty years service Advanced. life. Advance. Funding for the project will come from the FAA. All right, ready the both mics. Ready camera two. Ready. Ready tease music. Program and the passenger facility charge. The project may take several years to complete due to funding available. Open both mics. Take two. Roll and tease music. Will this blast of cold weather continue all weekend? The seven-day forecast is coming up. And in sports, we sit down with Penn State's hockey coach for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Roll red. Also take coming red. up, women are making their presence more widely known in politics. Find out how this has changed in recent years. The Center County Report continues after this break. Roll blue. Take so, nice. kind of new here. 
Good job, guys. Okay, you got it. Good job. What happened with the... the so, she, she wrote in, this happened during break, so we were trying to time it right. This, it ended at children, mm -hmm. instead of, so we believe some of them... Blah, 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 yeah, we like probably, I think, I think so, I overestimated how short, or how much was cut off. So I yeah. cued her too early. So he was like, yeah. Q, and I'm like, oh, uh, uh, we should go here. It's okay. I think it ended up, it was only like a, what, like a three It's like two or three seconds, seconds, but I mean, we can hear her. Yeah. We went right to her, still yeah. filled the package, it's fine. That's like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's very Alright, we're going back to camera one with Grace. If you uh, use the show to send to an employer and they ask you what happened there, just say we were working with a tear we were working with a cellular data live um, uh, uh, device. Yeah. And when we go remote like that, we would have really weird delays. Um, how much time do we have left? One minute. I think I should move her camera. And that's how you explain it. Don't, okay. just, don't say anything about oh, it was a racist script because then that's your fault. Okay, right. Um, so if they ask, yeah. just say we have a cellular device that we use for our live shots and sometimes the delay can be anywhere from three seconds to seven to seconds. seconds. No, I shot every 30. 30, stand by. Alright, ready, Grace is Mike. Ready, Grace is Mike. Ready, Grace is Mike. Good girl, remember it's all about balance and steering. Steer with your hands, steer with your body. Steer to the pointers and you stay at the top of the bells. Your buddy is a good little thing. All right, ready? Here you go. 15. Go, you're a bike rider. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, you guys are going to have to leave for the next half hour. Take 360. Open her mic and cure. Women make up more than Ready, half red. of the U.S. population, <coughs> but only 19% of Congress. That was before the November midterm election. Roll red. Now, Take red. that number is increased to women Ready, making blue. up 24% of Congress. South Dakota, Where's Tennessee, David? and Arizona all elected their first female governors. Democrat yeah. Sharice Davis became the no, first Native American woman Where is he in until two? Mm -hmm. in Kansas. Democrat was turning up his camera to the one seat in Michigan I told while becoming the first Palestinian American up, in Congress. Roll blue. Take blue. And we know Graphic. that seeing uh, through political science studies that it's important Lose to graphic, see role advanced. models who look like you and oh, hey, uh, you Annie, can you route them? Of, uh, encouraging young David. women and um, ready camera uh, three, ready in, Brandon's uh, mic. Sprat zoning next. Just in society. Well, re open Grace's mic, cure. Grace? Grace, Grace yeah, cure. She's reading, she's reading. Presley became the first black congresswoman Ready camera three, ready Brandon's mic. Ilhan Omar has made history twice after being elected to represent Thank you. Minnesota as the first Somali American. Open his mic, take three. M uh, Steve, Two we can fix that in post. Can you make have a one ready red? cases against the borough of State College and its zoning board. Roll red, Alpha take red. Alpha Cairo and Sigma Alpha Mu were both suspended ready by camera the one. Ready Grace's mic. 17. According to the borough's zoning code, when a fraternity loses recognition with the university, it's no longer considered a fraternity house by the borough. But the judge ruled that because the houses were previously granted exemptions, they still qualify as both pre existing right. okay, and non conforming use. Take one. After a second scare this year, Ready, blue. the federal government Logan, says you're only going to get two minutes of pay instead of two minutes 30, so just keep that in mind. Roll blue. Grocery store Take chains blue. like Wise Graphic. and Giant locally have put romaine back on their shelves after nearly Lose a graphic. month long warning. Ready ME, ready Weather 360, ready Logan's Mike. It's confined to six California counties on the Central Coast, meaning the product is safe to eat in other parts of the country. Take 360. Open Logan's Mike. Put in his graphic. Friday afternoon. Yes, the clouds are still Should back in Happy Valley 15, once 15. again. We okay. saw a little bit of sun earlier this morning, but right now the clouds are rolling back hey, into Andy, the region. Yeah. Yeah. Still very chilly do you tilt to the Penn State golf courses right now? Currently yeah. coming in around yep. 30 degrees. We have a feel like temperature at 21 thanks to those cool. uh, northwesterly winds coming in at around 10 miles per hour. Right on satellite showing those clouds still extending all across Central Pennsylvania right now. Dave we do have some snow showers. Dave, we see you and it's all good. Dave, we see you and it's all good. Okay. 
lake effect snow showers that are Logan's doing weather now. The afternoon hours. We aren't going to really see any snow for us here in central Pennsylvania. As we look at temperatures across the region, very uh, chilly as you're heading out. 34 and the latest 32 in ceiling down happen. towards Harrisburg, currently coming in at so there's usually a five degrees. Delay, though. We're tracking that big winter storm that's going to make its region or make its way through oh, our region later in the evening. Our, this weekend, actually, we're still seeing it as a low pressure system okay. down towards the south coast. One that's going to continue its way towards the southeast later into this weekend, especially as we look towards Saturday night into Sunday. That's not going to really bring us precipitation here across central Pennsylvania. That's going to stick down towards our south, and that's really going to uh, bring a lot of snowfall, especially to parts of well Virginia today. and North Carolina this weekend, potentially something up. around one to two feet of snow. Your forecast for tonight, temperature is very chilly, so have those jackets handy. 20 degrees with partly cloudy skies and a northwesterly wind at five miles per hour. And looking at the day tomorrow, clouds are still going to be across the region throughout the morning hours tomorrow. Ready as camera three, ready Brandon's mic. Clouds should start to dissipate, leaving us with partly to mostly sunny skies as we head into the afternoon and clear for the evening time for tomorrow night. And your seven day forecast from the Center County Report as we look towards the start of next week, temperatures still very chilly. Open Brandon's mic. No precipitation is going to be in our uh, forecast. So it looks like our travel Take three. for next week after Congress looks to be a lot better. Ready tease music. Ready camera one. Ready, ready Ellie's mic. That massive snowstorm that brought a lot of snow here. So I'm sure you'll have to stay bundled up. But any good holiday plans for the break? You know, just going to go home, see my family, spend time with friends, and also be a lot of food. Sounds <laughs> great. Thanks, Logan. Absolutely. Open Ellie's now mic. Here's Ellie French with sports. Take one. Roll in tease music. Coming up, we talk with Penn State women's ready volleyball red. about the big match tonight against Washington. Plus, the football season in review as the Nittany Lions prepare for the Citrus Bowl. Roll red. Also Pink coming red. up, I sat down with head coach Guy Gadowski to discuss this year's team and where the program is headed. Roll blue, take blue. Tides. Hey, of David, can you hear me? Loose mics and loose teams. We're rolling commercial now, so. You're yeah. like 30, 35 heavy, so we're getting that. Okay. What's up? Attaboy. Yep. Yep. How totally selfish. Yep. Todd like you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. Come on. It's really we'll lose to Sharon Vichy. Thank you. Come on in. That's why we give out. Great job, everybody. Wrap it up. Yeah, they're very impressed. Nice job. A minute. One minute left in the commercial. One this year, patriotism shouldn't just be. We're going back to camera one with Ellie's bike in the sports 360. Remember that to love America. Yep. To love all Americans. Because love has no links. So, kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. Yes. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, Thanks, Tom. and then she hides oh, them yeah. in that basket by the door. It's like, hello, this is where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide and go seek. So you see, it's more son, like 30 now. Good man, is there a Can I go through it again? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Exactly. Always say please, thank you, you're welcome. Excuse me, sit up straight, hold doors open, ladies, but doors lock not first. Don't burp, don't swear, don't stare, don't use bad language. Don't talk with your mouthful, keep your elbows off the table. What? Please don't interrupt. Cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. On the bus, give your seat up to anybody who has trouble standing. Bottom line, treat others. Are we doing retreat? We've got about 10 Ready? seconds. Ready? First. 10. Nine, eight, eight, seven, six, Stand by, David. Four, three, two, one. Roll 360. Open her mic. And cure. I'm Ellie French with sports. Clear it and then ready the live for 60. Ready Max Mike. Ready M.E. Ready you to wrap it. In the Citrus Bowl. Reporter Matt Freiler is live outside Take the Hebrew line. Stadium with a look back on the ups and downs of the 2018 season. Open his mic. Thanks, Ellie. Great live job. outside Thanks. of Beaver Stadium where Pretty things red. are a lot quieter at this time of year. This is the same building where Penn State lost two of their seven home games this season, which is actually the most home losses in a season since 2014, which is James Franklin's first year with the program. Now, if you ask Penn State fans, was this year a success? Well, some have nothing to complain about, others will shake their head in disappointment. But the one thing both sides can agree on is that this year was a tale of almost. Roll red, take red. Graphic. Graphic. Thank you, Tom. Lose graphic, advance. It is a nice job, even when he's freezing his ass off.
but we're not an elite football team yet. Tell him good job and stand by Franklin for the Woods After Penn State surrendered a 12-point lead with Loose seven graphic, minutes to play advance. against a vegetable Big Ten champion, Ohio State. Now, over three months later, the 9-3 and three Nittany Lions have accepted a bid to play on New Year's Day against Kentucky in the Citrus Bowl. That's not going to be sexy matchup. I think Penn State fans would much prefer they get like a Mississippi Loose graphic. Uh, when looking back on the six <laughs> there certainly wasn't a shortage of emotion for fans, with two of Penn State's three losses coming in the form of blown fourth quarter leads Did at you home. Shoot any of this the 21-17 defeat at the hands of underdog Sparty proved to be the dagger, and it helped for a third straight New Year's Six Bowl bid. Uh, the graphic. only kind of disappointment I would have for the season is the Michigan State loss. Um, the graphic. way this team has played and the way this team has looked, especially on defense towards the end of the year. Um, it's really hard to be upset. Ready to fly, Sean Reeves, Mike. We still have a big chunk of time. From the nail-biting overtime home opener okay. to the throttling of drills to back-to-back heartbreaks at home, a reality yeah, check in the big house, and three triumphs to end the season. Penn State's 2018 Stand by campaign was a roller coaster. And while it may not have met lofty beautiful, expectations, beautiful. the Mini Lions head to sunny Orlando for a chance to string together three straight 10 win seasons. For the first time since 1980, 81 right, ready is Mike. The difference? Ready you Joe Paterno led that 1982 team to college football goal. In University Park, I'm Matt Fryler for the center. Open his mic. Take live. Cue him. Now, after a few weeks of ready camera one, ready Ellie's mic. postseason obligations, Penn State will pack up and fly south to Orlando for that Citrus Bowl matchup with Kentucky. Now, over the years, Penn State fans have certainly enjoyed their pork and sauerkraut with the Nittany Lions. This, the 25th New Year's Day Bowl game for Penn State. Reporting live outside of Beaver Stadium, I'm Matt Freiler. Now back to you, Ellie, in the studio. Take one. Open her mic. Thanks, Matt. Lose Tonight it. in California, Matt, good job. Penn State football takes on Washington in the regional <laughs> semifinal of the NCAA tournament. Uh, roll blue. The Nittany Lions advance to the East Coast team good with back-to-back -back sweeps of Howard and Syracuse last week. Lose graphic. Advance. Ready, red. For the 14th year in a row, the team has made it to the regional semis. Penn State and Washington have met twice before in tournament play. The team knows they have to stay focused and motivated. Roll red. Take red. We also have Graphic. a bench that is full of energy, as we call that, like, energy here. And so that is equally on the board to have a bench that Advanced. is really Ready, camera ready, one. Especially ready, at least going mic. to um, uh, a place that is in, you know, we don't have that home court advantage. Open her mic. Take one. The winner of tonight's Staying contest will advance uh, to play the winner right, of right, the right, Stanford right, 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 right. and Washington State match. Real quick. Ready, Penn blue. State men's basketball began Big Ten play okay. almost a week ago. Yeah. But haven't had quite the start they were hoping for. Roll blue. After Take losing blue. to Maryland, Graphic. the Nittany Lions looked to bounce back against You're Indiana at home on Tuesday. Um, like the outside team has one final opportunity to score red. with two seconds left. Josh Reeves inbounded the ball to Lamar Stevens, but the pass was intercepted by the Hoosiers as time expired. The Lions fell 64 to 62 and have now lost three straight. After shooting 42 percent from the free throw line, Stevens shared how much the small details matter. Roll red. Take red. No little thing. Graphic. Uh, separate big ten games. You know, Lose graphic. Advance. Talented. Ready, Ellie's you mic. Do the little things really well, and this is just another case of that. Just making free throws. Something small, but you got to keep practicing. Open her mic. Keep getting better at it. Take Ellie. The Nittany Lions now face Colgate Stay tomorrow her. afternoon at the BJC. Penn State hockey is back home Good this job, weekend Tom. after being Ready, on the road blue. for the past. Two series. Roll blue. Number nine, Take Penn blue. State will face off no against graphic. number five, Notre Dame, in a pair of Big Ten contests. Ready, red. Tomorrow's game is the annual teddy bear toss. After splitting against Ohio State and only taking two of six points at Wisconsin, the Nittany Lions are now 10-4-1 and one on the season. Notre Dame is on a six-game win streak, but sophomore Alex Limoges knows what the Lions must do to take care of business. Roll red. Take red. We got to find a way to, to attack their weak spots and uh, just keep cycling and get plus to the net. graphic, advance. Ready camera one, ready Ellie's mic. The previous goals this weekend, but as long as they go and they Open her mic, take one. Tonight's game is at 7 o'clock at the Bull Ice Arena and you can listen live on Penn State Com Radio. Penn State's head hockey coach is in his seventh season here and his 20th season ready as a blue. coach. I had the opportunity to sit down with Guy Gadowski to talk about this year's team and what's ahead for the program. Roll blue, take blue. Give me three words. We're going to get this graphic in really quick. Describe this yep. year's team. Why? 
graphic. Well, fun. I gotta say Who's that first. Who's graphic? Advanced. I mean, they have a blast together. There's been a lot of talk about. Mm -hmm. I think right now we have the number one scoring line in the nation with with Liam Folks and Evan Barrett and uh, Alex Lamoche. And uh, I think the thing that stands out to me about them is that just how much fun they have. So I'll have to say fun. Uh, number one, fast. Number two, I'm looking for another F, but uh, I would say hard work. Remember, time. Brandon, it's you're a fun team, it's a fast okay. team, but they work really hard. When you think about That's just true. how much the program has grown, <laughs> where do you That's see it kind of going from there and just the future? Yes. I really think Can that this is going to be a. I mean, I ready, think Ellie's mic. Ready, like, camera I one. Do. I think uh, there's a lot of. We wanted to build a great foundation. We wanted Loser. to have success and check <laughs> off those it. boxes that you talked about. And, and now, I mean, this isn't to add pressure to us, but I really feel the next step the program is to, the last two breaks. to get it done. Yeah. So I mean, we can potentially have a little bit. That's what Penn State does. So if we're going to be here, we'll open our mic. Take one. Under Godowski, the team has had Ready back to back three. Ready NCAA Brandon's mic. Ready tease music. Making it to the regional final in 2017. My entire interview with the coach can be found on our website, centercountyreport.com. That's all for sports. Open his mic. Now back to you at the anchor desk. Take three. Roll and tease. Thanks, Ellie. Coming up. Ready, next, red. The Roll cold red. weather is Take taking red. over, making Ready, it blue. for kids to play outside. So where can they go indoors to play? We have one new choice next. Roll blue. Take blue. Good. So Good job. Lose their mics and everything. So do we have a? Should Brian, we change? your calls are excellent. Thank you. Should we change a minute? Yeah, we're a minute play? heavy. It would be. Should we have them ad lib and then just? It would probably be good if we could have a minute break. Um. So, Aaron, awesome. do you have the package? Yeah. Um. But there's time in between the package for you to advance to a break. So can you go and pull in a one minute break, and then we won't use Allie's break. Allie, do you remember where? Yes. Okay. How much time do we have left in this break? A minute More than a minute. Okay. So, when Good job, guys. So our out time now should be 29, 12.29. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, no ad living. You got it, Ellie? It's older breaks. Yeah. Um, no ad -living. Yeah, no ad living. No. Uh, there's whatever, one sixty seconds. So this no ad living, guys. No, they'll be okay. They'll be okay. They'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. Now that we're doing this, I Okay. In that case, we will add lib. Do you have black in between? Just not, not like long. Right. There you go. What's good. our time? We got, no, we're um, right. Start right. to right. Alright, we have a one minute break. Thirty seconds. Alright, ready. Grace is Mike. Ready. Camera one. As soon as we get in the package, update the directors on it. There's only one way to get time. That's because it has to be given to us. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. 20, 20, sorry. All right, give me the 10. Because sex without it isn't sex. Yeah. It's great. No, we have some even and odd breaks. Consent. And if you don't get 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open your mic, take one. With the winter months here and everyone stuck inside at Pretty time, red. some parents are having trouble finding fun things to do with their kids. Reporter Aaron Newton no, took a look at one idea for family fun. Roll red, take red. We always struggle a little bit depending on what city we're hey, in. Hey, how long is this? Nice. Yeah. 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 Lose graphic, yeah. advance. Play with each other. Top the sons yeah. and other parents struggle to find places where they can it's bring their children to release energy during the winter months. Yeah. 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 To find <laughs> 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 even dodgeball tournaments. General Manager Steve Rockwell says it's a oh, great way to get directors, the break is exercise. in red. They get stellar energy, get a really healthy workout while they're doing it, and the parents enjoy it because when they go home, oh, they're a little bit more tired than when they showed up. It's in red? It is. It's one minute. <laughs> okay. And it's a great way to disconnect your kids from electronics for a bit. And you want to get them away from... And ready camera one, ready grace is mic. Ready tease music. Well, from college, I'm I'm Open her mic, take one. Get air is ready camera two, ready both mics. Open both mics, open two, roll and tease. Okay, you gave us the update on the rain jacket last week, holidays coming up. Where are we? What do we got? So 
I think things are looking good for me. Santa has promised, as far as I know, that there's going to be one under the tree. So hopefully I'll get a little more protection <coughs> with all the precipitation that could be coming our way. All righty. That's all for okay, today's in the graphics. You can find more of our stories on our website. Are we going to commercial? Yes. Oh, and all right, ready, ready. Hopefully ready. near 29. As close as we can. We'll be at Center County REP or on our Facebook page. The graphics in you? Yeah. Are the um, commercials in you? Yeah. Yeah. Join us again in January as a new yeah. team brings you the news. Have a great holiday Seven, season. Six, Roll red. Five, Take red. Good job. <laughs> cool. Last one! Is there mics? Oh my god, what a shout. Okay. Show Jimmy. 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 Show if you want Elmo for your ringtone, we can we can make that happen. Uh, when the break's over. Yeah, we should be in the Take black. There. Cool. <laughs> nice. Yes, you are. All right. Woo! Woo!